city that we live in, Lord. I praise you for the strength of this great country. It still stands strong today in the face of many challenges. I praise you for the faith of this nation. There's long been a remnant of faithful service, praying for your kingdom to come and for your tender mercies to be felt throughout this land. Lord, we confess that we have fallen short. We have fallen asleep. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. None of us are righteous, no, not one. We have allowed the enemy to gain a stronghold in our lives. We've grown weary and discouraged. And there's a Hawaiian saying that says, Nana ike kumu, which means look to the source. It's a reminder for the people to look to the resources around them for guidance and direction. And our prayer today, Lord, is that you would help us look to the source. The source of our strength, the source of our peace, the source of our wisdom, the source of our hope, the source of our love. Today we, Nanaike Kumu, we look to you, Lord Jesus. We pray that you would forgive us of our sins, that you would cleanse us of all unrighteousness, Lord. We pray that you would restore our broken marriages. Pray that you would repair our broken families. We pray that you would heal our broken hearts. We pray that you would use today as a launching point for our renewed passion for righteousness and holiness. We know that you're able to do all of these things, and even better than that, Lord, you're willing to do these things. And if you would do these things for us, Father, we vow to give you all of the honor, and we vow to give you all of the glory, and we vow to give you, Lord, all of the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, David. True, with uh, two men that I love and dearly love as friends and uh, their ministries uh, have had an impact on my life personally, like all of you here, um, but I've had the privilege of calling Max and Randy my friend these last few years. What a gift and a blessing. And um, so... It's an honor to be your friend because you're friends of theirs, so that makes us uh, family and friends, and um, and most importantly because of our Father in Heaven who has brought us together today, and because we are gathered in His name, He has promised, He's made a commitment to come and meet with us in this place. Some amazing things have happened in this place. A lot of those thanks to this unbelievably tall, large man who I follow, Mr. Dave Robinson, and um, the first basketball card that Caleb ever had. He was very excited to get to tell Dave that today. That was a thrill for my boys. Um, this is my son Caleb and my son Will Franklin Chapman up here with me. Uh, 
And I love these other guys too, even though they're not my sons. This is Brent Milligan and Brian Green up here as well. So I love you guys. Um, but I'm, I'm especially thankful this morning that as we come together, of all the things that have happened in this room, when you consider that the God of the universe is showing up here this morning. And that's not just some word that we say from stage to sound good. That is the reality of realities of this morning. That God is pleased, delighted, jumping up and down to be here with us because we've gathered in his name as his children. So let's worship him. Let's bless his name together this morning. If you know this one, sing it. I think the words will be, um, let's sing this very, very important, special song to me and my family, especially in these past few years. Um, sing this. Blessed be your name in the land that is plentiful where your streams of abundance flow.
And I walk the sidewalks of San Antonio, just like Singapore and Manila and Shanghai, where I'm brushed by the beggar's hand and the wealthy man.